Hello everyone, welcome back on BP Swaggy Story. Today we're going to talk about the first Mediterranean enlargement in 1981. Our first point is Greece joins the community. After freeing up the regime of the colonials and restoring democracy, Greece applied to join the European community in 1975. But it was not greeted with open arms. A fight supporting Greece membership bid, the Commission said Greece entry will pose serious problems for both Greece and the community. France was worried about the impact on farmers, Germany about cheap migrant labour, and everyone feared getting employed in Greece's dispute with Turkey. It didn't help that leaders had only just emerged from renegotiating membership terms with the UK. But strategic concerns won out. Greece's entry was a way to ensure democracy and stability in southern Europe at the age of the Cold War. And it worked. Greece was the model. Spain and Portugal followed, joining in 1986. But Greece was a sad warning. Levels of corruption were worse than the European average. The state was poor at collecting taxes. Lax public administration was ordered to change once a country was inside the Europe. Later entrants from Central and Eastern Europe had to pass stricter standards. To recap, we can say that Greece wanted to join European community in 1975, but European community did not agree. But on January 1st in 1981, Greece finally joined the European community followed by Spain and Portugal. Our second part is about 1986, Spain and Portugal. On January the 1st, Spain and Portugal enters in the European Community, which later became the European Union. There is now 12 members. Spain made a first candidature in 1962 that has been rejected. This candidature has been rejected because of the Frankist regime. At Franco's death, Spain could don another candidature in 1977. 
Portugal made a candidature at the death of Antonio de Oliveira Salazar, who was a dictator. Thanks to this candidature, Spain could move back up its economy. And it permitted to Portugal to be more stable about their new democracy. Our third part is necessity to implement regional aid programs called RAD. The ERD is to promote an equal development between all the regions of the European member countries in 1986. The goal of the RAD is to reduce inequalities between the European member countries and regions of these countries. The main idea of territorial cohesion is to contribute to European sustainable development and competitiveness. But if some regions are less competitive about economy or social developments, this cohesion can't exist. So this is a map of the European member countries. In red, we can see the less developed regions. In yellow, we can see the transition regions. And in blue, we can see the more developed regions. <laughs> 